Erg of hiding behind the wall. Erg of climbing, it would never fall. Erg of into the darkness fled, with stolen children who went in bed. The Urgoth are a unknown but powerful race that once enslaved humanity many years ago. Said to stand taller than a Colossus Javelin, most details about the Urgoth are either lost to time or erased by Helene's force from the past war. Much of what is said about them is purely folktale that passed down from generation to generation to scare children if they misbehave. But the Urgoth are no mere folktale. They are real and still are present in the world. Although, where to is unknown, but their existence is verified from a singular cutscene near the end of the story. I want you to meet Grandmaster Adams. You entered Freemark. You silenced the Cenotaph. Yes, with help. Right on. Strong alone, stronger together. Hey, let me show you something. We found this just inside the eastern border. Killed two of our team before we were able to... Put it down. And I mapped the region on it. Urgoth. You've heard of them. From stories, paintings, but they're long gone from Bastion. Oh, this could either be a single scout or the beginning of something much, much bigger. Corvus is worried that the death of the Monitor, while vital, has left us vulnerable in places we never even considered. And we're reaching out to you because, by all accounts, you're something special. But can you keep quiet about this? We don't want to freak people out. Sure. Good. We'll be in touch. As shown, this Urgolf was apparently scouting an area it was in, from what Grandmaster Adams states. And although they never managed to find out what it was looking for, it did manage to take out a number of skilled lancers before finally being taken down. This is the first sighting of seeing Urgolf out in the wild since Helene's forces drove him away. So the sight of one now concludes that they're planning to make a move soon. So the threat of a Urgoth incursion is foreseeable in the future, and with some of the populace not aware of their existence, this could lead to a very bloody campaign if the threat isn't stopped. But how can you stop a threat if you know barely anything about them? We know only a few things about them, as everything about them from their culture, fighting capabilities and history is either lost, destroyed or hidden. They can't use nor manipulate Ember for their own use compared to humans. As stated in the Ember Cortex, which states, legend has it, the Urgoth enslaved humanity because the Urgoth could not manipulate Ember, whereas humans could. Although no evidence is present to concrete this theory, it's been noted by another Cortex called Study of the Urgoth that their physical strength and unique survival capabilities was a trade-off for not having the ability to use Ember, or what's what I would consider it be, kind of a little theory. Perhaps the Urgoth were already blessed with these unique capabilities to survive the outside world by Yamfam long ago. But the mighty trade off was that they couldn't use Ember for their own purposes. While the humans at the time never had any unique features, so were blessed with the ability to use Ember for their own use. Thus, leading to the Urgoth being infuriated by this choice, and they should be the dominant species and enslaved the humans and put them in their places. This is, of course, only a fear of mine, as this is all I can think of for now until more evidence is present. Next, we also know that they were bigger, stronger and faster than humans, and also hunted Ash Titans to the point of near extinctions for their weapons and machinery. Okay, let's take a look at what we're dealing with. Titans are generally an apex creature that is considerably powerful enough to wipe out forces of javelin users with ease. If you take a look at the beginning scene of our Doom group when facing a Titan in the Heart of Rage, you will see that everyone was struggling to even place a dent in one, and by the time they manage to kill one, another one appears. This also applies for in-game where most lancers when facing one struggle because of the vast abilities and how damaging they could be on your health, from pushing your health from 100 to 0. The fact that the Urgos hunted these guys for near sports and nearly caused an extinction on their end with ease, basically showed that the Urgos are nothing to laugh at, and probably see us as child play compared to what they go up against. If the Urgoth were present now for when the Heart of Rage occurred and decided to deal with it on their own, they could have probably achieved it and quiet it down within a day at best. Imagine that, an Urgoth flexing on a giant beam of Titan with ease, while us humans in Enhanced Exosuit struggle with killing just one. I'd be slightly worried if I was you. And that is as far as it goes for knowing everything about them, as we know they're planning something and we know they exist, 
but when they were attack is unknown. The Urgos really are a fearsome race and unless all of humanity come together and plan out how to counter them, then we're doomed to be enslaved once again, or worse. Now before I go, I'd like to leave a certain conversation for you guys to listen to from a character you save. This conversation tells us what the future will hold for us in both a positive and negative light, but it reinforces the theory of the Urgolf making a return. Now if you enjoyed the video then by all means please leave a like, a sub and share for more future lore content like this and I'll be sure to cover it. But for now thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Cardea, how are you feeling? Oh, freelancer. Fine. I'm fine. Where's Dax? She's... on an errand. Yes, I, I wanted tea. Lavender, I think. We ran out. Cardea, I think... Maybe you should see a doctor? No, I was just lost in thought. Thinking about something Owen said. Owen? How do you... You've never met Owen. Of course I have. He helped you and Dax find me. That was Faye. Faye? Oh, I did it again. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. I'm just worried about you. So is Dax. She took me to an arcanist. Well, technically three of them. You met the Matthiases. Yes. Interesting fellows. I told them what happened to me when I was trapped. That you experienced your past, present, and future. I thought you said those memories were fading. I... I'm not sure. I've been confused. I know things I shouldn't. Some days, my memories are consistent with Dax's. Other days, they're not. The Matthiases think I was trapped in a temporal reality. What I saw were possible pasts and futures, but not necessarily true. You said I change things for the freelancers, and that we become legends. I don't remember everything I saw. It comes in flashes. Besides, it's probably wrong. But it could be right. Even if it was, would you really want to know? I'm not a delicate flower, Cardea. If you remember something, please tell me. Okay. You restore the freelancers to their former glory, but an ancient enemy returns. And this time, this time, humanity fails. You fail. Well, that's darker than I expected. I shouldn't have told you. No, it's okay. Cordea, what you saw is just a possibility. Like you said, it's probably wrong. Doesn't it bother you? Every time I get in my javelin, there's a chance the worst will happen. If I focused on the negative, I'd never be able to do my job. I wish I had your confidence. The first step is sorting out these memories. There has to be a way to tell which ones are genuine. In time, the false memories might disappear. Right now, all I can do is ask. I rely on those answers. But can you live like that? Yes, I can. You survived the Heart of Rage, twice. I'll survive this.